In this video, I am looking at the SMSL C100 DAC. Let's get it. What's cracking, audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. Look how cute this little guy is. It fits in the palm of my hand. How about that? Let me tell you some stuff about the C100 here, and we'll start as always always with the price and that is $119. Now inside this little DAC we've got the AK4493S which is the latest version of that classic uh, AK Velvet Sound DAC. You can see the Bluetooth antenna on the back. Yes we do have Bluetooth. I'll talk more about that in a minute and um, we've also got MQA support here, which is quite unusual for a super budget DAC like this one. So let's have a look at the body now, and we'll start with the front, and that is actually a little display there. Let me plug this guy in so you can see. You gotta turn it on, there we go. So you got this cute little display there. This little guy, it can be also used as a preamp, because it does have an adjustable output level or volume, uh, but you do need to use the remote to adjust that. And there is a little touch sensitive button on the front here. And if you just tap that, it cycles through the three, I should say four uh, input options, which is which are USB, optical, coaxial and Bluetooth. Let me touch on the Bluetooth real quick. It is it only supports uh, SBC and AAC. So it's a little bit limited, so if you are looking primarily for a streaming DAC, I would suggest you look elsewhere. But it's just a nice little something to have. Like, you know, SBC and AAC does not sound all that at all bad, especially if you're just uh, streaming Spotify or something like that. It sounds actually pretty good. So that's a nice little touch. The other thing, MQA, like I said, unusual to see MQA support in a uh, budget DAC like this one. In terms of build, it's pretty simple. That's the front I showed you already. On the back, we've got um, your RCA output, of course, then your coaxial in and optical in, Bluetooth antenna, and your USB in. And the USB in is a USB Type C. And one thing that's neat about this guy, it doesn't require any external power supply, it gets all its power from the USB port, so that's nice. So as far as sample rate goes, this little guy supports up to 32-bit 768 kilohertz and DSD 512. It's got its own self-developed CK03 clock processing unit to reduce the jitter. And um, there's not a whole lot more to say about it. It is a pretty basic and simple little device and it just does what it does, just does what it says on the tin. So how would you use this? Well, obviously you would need a separate headphone amp or a power amp. I was using this with my Felix Audio Echo tube amp, and that was a great combination because this is a nice, got a nice neutral sound signature. And I also had it hooked up to my Topping L70 headphone amplifier as well. As for the power output out of the back here, the out of the RCA outs, you're looking at two VRMS, which is the standard. But let's uh, go and talk about the sound now. And the, you know, the C100 here, SML, SMSL, I should say, they tend to aim much like topping for a transparent and neutral sound signature. And they've nailed it again here with the C100. This makes it the perfect partner for, like I said, my tube amp, which is a really good pairing for it. And and trust me, like pairing this budget DAC with a kind of a mid-tier headphone amp is completely fine. It does. It's a very good, handy, capable little DAC. So you don't need to worry about the price disparity there. Once upon a time, maybe, but nowadays these these budget DACs just output great signal. It's as simple as that. So I've been impressed by the C100's clean signal, and basically, it's a, got a silent noise floor especially when paired with a good amp. Uh, it sounds crisp and lively. It's got great spacing and nice soundstage properties. Uh, I would say tonally it is similar to the SML, SMSL C200, 
but slightly less etched and contrasty. And that could be due to the AK4493S chip in this one, whereas the C200 has got that Sabre uh, ES9038Q2M. Or, or it could be just simply tuned differently, I don't know. But I would say, yeah, this one is just a little bit smoother and softer than the C200. It's got nice controlled bass notes, um, still good bass extension. The mid-range is neutral in tone, yet it's still expressive and natural. It's a kind of a forward mid-range. It's full of detail and clarity. And the treble has that kind of unique AK Velvet sound character, which is crisp yet smooth, kind of like a smooth whiskey that's easy on the throat, but still packs some heat, if you know what I'm saying. Let's have a quick comparison now with the Topping E32 Mark II. You can see they're pretty much, they're just about the same size. The C100 is a little bit smaller. They actually have the same DAC chip inside. They've both got a front display. The, the Topping's display is a bit nicer. It's big, bigger and that nice orange color that topping does for some of their displays it's also got a touch sensitive button i find the one on the c100 to be easier to find and a little bit more responsive as far as inputs and outputs go they've both got the same although the topping does not have a bluetooth input and in in addition the e32 does not have mqa support uh one other thing this has got a usb USB-B input and the C100, as I mentioned, has the USB Type-C. Power output is virtually the same. The topping is 2.1 VRMS. C100 is 2 VRMS. And in terms of sound, they are very similar. But to my ears, the C100 has slightly better instrument separation and detail retrieval but you'd be hard, very hard pressed to determine which was which in a blind test. So that pretty much covers it, guys. That is the SMSL C100. Look, I think this is a really good value little DAC. Obviously, it doesn't have a headphone amplifier. If you're just looking for a very small, affordable DAC, especially if you're looking for MQA. So if you're a Tidal user, you'll be interested in this one. It's simple. It's small does what it says on the tin and i'm going to wrap it up there so thanks for watching the video if you liked it give it the old thumbs up parfam audio file style and if you're new here and you want to see more content like this make sure you hit that subscribe button and until next time i'll see you later